if you put as much time into working on winning as you put into thinking about losing, you'd already be a champion. In this country, it is an epidemic that people put more time preparing to quit than preparing to be successful. And if you want to make sure you become successful, it's not will you quit, it's when you stop preparing to quit. You gotta give up on saying, look, I can do that tomorrow. There is no quit. Guess what? Dreams don't stop. People do. There's no difference between them and you. They're not faster, they're not smarter, they're not stronger, they're not better. They just don't quit. A big three-pointer, then a steal, and then a two-pointer, and the Spurs up by two. You see both teams with just one timeout remaining. Miami has a foul to give. Trail by two. James backs in. Lost the ball. Duncan lost it. Picked up and Parker has it. Ginobili drives inside. Fouled by Allen. And Ginobili will shoot two with 37 seconds remaining. What a turnaround here in the final minute. Quick shot. James looks. Sees an opening. Wild pass. Picked up by Ginobili. And he's fouled by Allen. Manu Ginobili will go to the line again with the Spurs leading by four. An absolute stunning turnaround in the final minute and a half. and uh, Bill Walton. Now the big story here tonight, the story concerning Michael Jordan's physical conditions. This Jordan arriving about two hours ago. He is suffering from flu-like symptoms. As you see right here, looking a bit shaky. He was up all last night, spent all day in bed, did not eat at all, did not uh, go to the shoot-around earlier today, did not practice. So uh, his status is uncertain. John Cook trying to get to rest, but, but still throwing up. Eastern time, Pacific time, Mountain time, I don't care what time it is. Guess what? Nobody will beat me at achieving goals. I'm not competing with anybody. Understand, they're not going to have more advantage than me. going to have the same amount of time, the same advantage, no excuse. They're not going to have an hour more than me. They're not going to have six hours extra than me. I'm going to grind just as long, and I'm going to grind longer, and I'm going to prepare myself to be successful. Why? One reason. I don't quit. I don't prepare myself in the mindset to quit. You're going to have to give in with everything you got. You're going to have to give up more. You're going to have to not be lazy. You're going to have to not listen to that old you. You're going to have to believe. compare somebody to Michael Jordan. But this guy, LeBron James, he does everything well. Michael did everything well. 
LeBron James just bigger, stronger, faster. The best basketball for LeBron James, I believe, is ahead of him because of that one championship. You gonna make a choice to just be remembered? Or you gonna make a choice to become a legend? Are you gonna make a choice to just be remembered? Or are you gonna make choices to ultimately make you a legend? To shape that legacy, to become that legend? Your choice begins today. It's time to make decisions. We see it every day. But the only difference now, we gotta stop quitting. When we gonna get tired of just knowing and seeing successful people and become one of them? Every day we grind. Every day we do. If you don't like that, you don't like NBA basketball. Cut it out! Cut it out! This is your moment. I don't care what you've been through. You can make a decision. You got more to prove to yourself than 70%. You're not, see, the problem is you, you're taking average and you're making it amazing. No wonder you keep losing because you don't know what winning looks like. Someone has showed you that sweating is winning because you haven't seen anybody bleed to win yet. You believe that gasping for air is winning because you haven't seen anybody pass out yet. NBA Entertainment at its best. That's why you keep losing because you're not ready to face your greatness. You have to prepare to face your greatness. That's why you keep losing because you keep settling for these little bitty things, these little bitty accomplishments, and you want to pat yourself on the back so bad. You want to accomplish something so bad that something very little feels amazing. Somebody has fooled you. Somebody somewhere has shown you that giving up good enough is great. You gotta give everything, everything. You gotta understand right now, and you gotta push yourself. You gotta understand how to leave everything behind, baby. You leave everything behind.